What's Gucci, people? It's your boy, Chef Boy Easy, back in the kitchen with Black Cooking Swag. Today, we're going to be doing bread pudding. Whip it up with the raisins, you heard me? So, we about to get to the recipes. Share this video around. Get it likes and comments. Let's blow this thing up. Keep it Gucci. Right now, we're going to get to the quick ingredients. I'm about to show y'all what it's going to take to make the bread pudding. So, let's get straight down to that. Oh, you got to have an iPad. Without the iPad, you can't make bread pudding. Yes, you gotta have it. It does blend. Gotta have all your stuff over here. We got the sugar over here. Vanilla abstract milk, cream pet milk. What pet milk is, is the same thing. Uh, it's, it's the evaporated milk. is the same thing as this one right here. You gotta have your raisins if you wanna do a big dog. You gotta have your bread. I let my bread sit out. Let it air for probably about 10 to 20 minutes so it can get kind of like hard as in like stale. You gotta have a bowl. You have to order this bowl. If you don't have it, trust me, it ain't gonna mix right. You gotta have your eggs. You're gonna probably do around like eight or nine eggs. It was regular. If you're doing a small dish for probably about three people, you use five eggs. But this time we're gonna do probably nine because it's a little bit bigger pan. Everybody gonna tear it up. It's gonna get eight, you hear me? And we got some pool boy bread right here. This is just, I'm gonna show y'all what I'm gonna do with this. We're gonna keep it Gucci, baby. Surprise, back. All right, for right now, we're gonna do the nine eggs. So what we're gonna do is just crack the eggs. Tell me everybody know how to crack eggs. In my first year, man, I know that place like I come from it. Backstage at warehouse and oh nine like it's bun coming. Dad, is anyone coming for I show up there and there's no one there? Alright, so we got our nine eggs right there. See when you know I'm gonna do this, like I said, I got one cup of sugar right here. We're gonna add two. So you're gonna just sprinkle this right here. That actually looks like enough right there. So we're gonna just use that. We're gonna I'm gonna kinda taste it. And most people when they cook the bread pudding, they don't taste it. But I'm gonna taste mine, because I gotta make sure it's good. I'm not gonna go that, you know, I ain't gonna go the full route and it ain't good. So I'm gonna do some regular milk. I'm gonna do one cup of this. Just like that. One cup of that, one cup of that good. Cover that evaporated milk for the good strong bones. The good strong bone. Look at just came straight off a cow. Look at that. Look at that good milk. Alright. Got this strong milk, the strong bone milk. 70 grams of butter. You don't probably know what that is. Show you what it is, right? That's 70 grams of butter. <laughs> Make sure you get all of it. Uh-oh, got the black cooking swag baby back there. Then right now we got the vanilla abstract. This would be one teaspoon. If I can get this box open though. Excuse me while I figure this out. Let me see. Don't try that at home. Don't try this at home. I thought this box been open before. Let my wife try to open it. All right, that's a shame. I, I couldn't even open a uh, vanilla abstract. This is one and a half teaspoons. You want to add two? One, two. Oh man, we gotta do three for good luck. Make sure you do the three for good luck. All right, when y'all cooking, do three for good luck. So we're gonna do that right now. I got all my ingredients over here. We got all that finished. Clean up your mess as you go, bra bra. You wanna stir it together. Like I said, a lot of people, they don't, when they doing these videos, they don't taste test it as they go. You don't want to cook all this. And then when you go to serve it, it's nasty. You gotta make sure it's good. I got my raisins over here. I had a full thing of raisins, but uh, <clears throat> I ate them. I had a full thing, but uh, they gone. So let's get back to the cooking, please. Gucci. All right, now we back. We got the bread. You're going to have a bread knife. If you don't know what a bread knife is, it's like this with the tips on it. Wow. You can keep the edges. You don't have to keep them, but I just like to cut my edges off. Know that place that I come from it. Backstage at warehouse and old nine like a spot coming. Dead as any. And it's time to do the mixer. Let's do the mixer. All right, people. And this is basically based on the size of the pan you got. Let me show you my pan size. This is how big my pan size is, so it all might not fit. So you can always get a smaller size pan. Like I said, 
all depends on what size pan you're working with because you know you can always get a smaller pan and uh, mix match it so right now I got my bread I got my other bread right here so I'm just gonna put my bread in there just like this and I want to save enough for these these right here are a little bit hard. I let them sit out for probably about a couple hours. So what this does is the bread, the, the mixture can actually go in the bread and the bread will hold it. See if it's just regular bread, what it'll do is, that's why I'm using pole board bread. It can actually hold it in the inside of it and not you know get kind of moisty or like you're just eating wet bread. So you put that in there just like that. I'm gonna add some more of those. You want to do it just like this you want to put it in the, the refrigerator for probably about 20 minutes but you can keep it out just like this for 20 minutes to let it soak so we're gonna let that soak in there and then we're gonna come back I'm gonna add a couple more and I gotta add a couple more of them in there just want to add a couple more in there just like that so get it just like that make sure all of them touching it then you just want to let it sit so we're gonna let it sit for a little while then we're gonna come back sit this out then we're gonna get the bacon. All right, and we back. We about to get back over here to the bread pudding. As you see what it looks like, it just look like a ton of bread. Trust me, it don't look like that. Looks are deceiving when it come to food. Might look ugly, but it tastes so good. I should be on the commercial. All right, now right now what we gonna come and do is, my wife don't like raisins, so I got my raisins. Told you, um, yeah, uh, half of them gone. Uh, don't know what happened to them. I think uh, we ate them. So right now I'm gonna pull this in here. Like I said, it might not all fit, but we gonna make it work. Trust me, always make it work. So you're gonna pull this in there just like this. Pull this in here. I might add some more milk in there. We're gonna do it just like this. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get my mixer and come by and mix this up. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna double the layer. When I cook it, I'm gonna add them on top of it. Y'all gonna see what I'm gonna do, trust me. I know what I'm doing. So you're gonna add that just like, look, I got one stuck in there. He don't want to get cooked. So I'm going to do it just like that. It's probably about maybe an inch and a half thick. That's how thick it is right now. Probably an inch and a half. Got more trying to get stuck in there. So what, what I'm going to do now is my wife don't like raisins. I'm going to take these raisins and add it. Only add them on one side. Just like that. Add them on one side of the, the bread pudding. And then I'm just going to mix it in there like that. I love I, I love raisins. You can't can you tell? Go. Just mix it just like that. Got my oven preheated to 450. And what I mean is I'm a double the layer. You're gonna see what I mean. Like I said, I got a small, it's a bigger pan. It's a big dog pan right here. So I'm gonna have to get another pan and just do another video. But I'm gonna show y'all right here how I'm gonna get this whipping. This is probably about what two, it's probably about the same uh thickness as a pie. Like some people when they cook it, they don't do it like a pie. They kind of make it kind of thicker, but you don't want it too thick. So you're going to do it just like that. Get all those parts in there. Make sure all of them push down. You know, I got to get all mine. And I like sugar on my top. So, nah, that ain't, that ain't sound all that good. Sugar on my top. All right, I'm going to just add a little bit more sugar just to the top of it. You see I got the sugar. I'm going to sprinkle it just to the top of it just like that. Just to kind of give it that top taste. Almost like brown sugar. You can do it with brown sugar. You can do it with any sugar. Just do it. All right, so I got that like that. And as you see what it looks like, I'm going to put it in the oven for 350 degrees for a whole hour, a full hour. So we're going to go ahead and get that started. And so then, y'all stick around and get some popcorn. Get something to eat. Keep it Gucci. Oh, you got to be fully prepared. I put my life vest on. That's what it's called, my life vest. I got to have this. I don't want no hot touch. Nothing touching me hot. I got my glove on, you see it? Got to keep the glove on, you hear me? And I got my hat, my safety hat. So when you get into this position, you got to be ready for it. You got to be ready to bake. Yeah, ready to bake. It's that crucial. It's like 350 degrees in there, steaming hot. So, I got my pan right now. I'm going to take and put it in there. 350 degrees for an hour. An hour, baby. And I'll show you all the process on there. But like I said, you got to get geared down when you bake. You got to take it full. You got to go. So, we about to go ahead and finish baking this in an hour. We're going to come back and we're going to show you how it's working. All right, people. Look at that. Gucci. All right, people, we back, you hear me? Black cooking swag, I don't know what number it is. We just been doing it continuously, like I said. Thank y'all for supporting my video. 
Everybody know the same saying I say all the time. Like, comment, share it, let people know. If they don't know how to cook, come to my channel. I'm going to show y'all how to make anything y'all want. I mean, from alligator, big lips, I'm talking about anything. I'm talking about Cajun, it could be Southern, it could be what? Northern, it could be anything, you know, P Polar, Alaska, you know. But like I said, this is the bread pudding right here. Come check it out. I put some raisins on the top just to have those at the beginning. But like I said, it got raisins in the inside of it. You can see, I'm going to do a cut on camera, but I'm about to go ahead and get the cutting on, you hear me? So I'm going to go ahead and grab my knife, see which one I want to use. Let's see which one. Nope. 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 Go back. Got to make sure it's a small one. You don't want a big knife. I guess we can... Nope. Oh man, we got so many selections, you don't even know which one to choose. Uh oh, got the baby cutting up. We're gonna use the small one. Ain't got matter of fact, I'm gonna use the uh got so many of them. I'm gonna use the bigger one to cut it and then a smaller one to pull it out of there. So y'all see what that look like right there. Alright, well I'm gonna move this back. You see I got my New Orleans, you heard me? Gotta have that who that. Gotta have a who that. All right, this the final product right here. As you see, I got a little bit of the caramel syrup whipped up around it. But this is what it looked like. You see, there's no leaking, no running. I mean, it's beautiful. Smells good, tastes good. I'm going to eat one on camera just to show y'all it tastes good. Come, come hold this, babe. I'm about to go ahead and tell one. Get my game. Got to get my face ready. All right. Here you go right here. You can. Stay right there. Well, I'm unprepared for this one. I'm just gonna go ahead and use a spoon. Cut it just like that. And you see it comes right off. Got the raisin on it. Taste scrumptious. Put that syrup on it. it tastes ten times better. Gucci. Y'all enjoy.